essentially slamming water in order to dilute the sample such that to get an invalid result of this. That's the allegation of it. Former state rep Monica Youngblood is accused of diluting two of her mandatory urine tests she's required to take after her misdemeanor DWI conviction in October. Been around this block for a couple decades or more, and I know what it takes to dilute a sample, and it's not just a pint of water. It's a heavy amount of it. And while her tests came back negative for alcohol, they were deemed invalid because they were so diluted. Youngblood, who lost her re-election bid in November, claims she drank a lot of water because she was on a diet for her upcoming wedding. Then blamed the probation officer for failing to warn her this could happen. Basically, it's my running and the fact that I'm on this intermittent fasting diet, but okay. he even told me, I asked him if diet could affect it, he said absolutely not. It was last May that young blood was arrested at a DWI checkpoint in northwest Albuquerque after refusing to take the breathalyzer. We're going to turn off the no, 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 no. Yes, turn off, turn off. She was tried and convicted in October and sentenced to a day in jail and a year of probation. There's not a morning that I don't wake up and regret the, the um, unfortunate events of that evening. With this alleged probation violation, she could have had her probation revoked and given the 90-day max for a first DWI. Instead, Metro Court Judge Kevin Fitzwater says he'll give her the benefit of the doubt because she has passed other urine tests before and after the diluted ones. Understand, these conditions are what is keeping you out of jail. Instead, she'll be subjected to more random drug testing, at least one urine test a week for the next 45 days. So for the next 45 days, they call, you jump, okay? 